Next question, uh, multiple charge question, it says, what is the wavelength of the waves of the station 92.3 FM? So we'll discuss a little bit about the differences of the wavelength of the FM stations versus AM stations and then how to find their wavelength. So we're going to use the equation C is lambda F. C is the speed at which all electromagnetic waves travel, which is known as the speed of light in vacuum. In vacuum, the speed of light is... 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, right? So that would be their speed in vacuum of all electromagnetic waves. And radio waves are one example of an electromagnetic wave. Lambda is the wavelength of the wave. So it's the distance between, if you have a wave like this, it's the distance between where the wave starts and where it repeats again here. So this is one wavelength right here. Or the other way to look at it is the distance between one peak and another peak. Same thing. That's also the wavelength. So we use the Greek letter lambda, which is the Greek equivalent of the letter L. Okay, That's the wavelength. And that one would be measured in meters. If it's very small distance, it would be measured in micrometers or nanometers or millimeters, whatever, how, however small it is. Okay, So this is meters. And then, so the units of this are meters, and the units of the frequency are cycles per second. Cycles per second. So when you multiply meter times cycle per second, what basically what ends up happening is that this tells you at what speed the wave is propagating itself, at what speed it's traveling, and then the cycles drops out and you get meters per second, and then that's the, the, um, the velocity of the electromagnetic waves. So in this case, what's given? The 92.3 FM, that's actually the frequency that of that radio station. FM stations are broadcast in units of megahertz, million hertz. So the wavelength, we don't know. Its frequency is 92.3. FM is megahertz, so that would be what? Million hertz, so times 10 to the 6th hertz, right? So as soon as you see FM, just put 10 to the power 6 because 10 to the power 6 is a mega, a million, a million hertz, right? So now I have to take this and bring it over to this side. So then I got 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 92.3 times 10 to the 6, okay? How can I do that? Well, um, one way we can do it, maybe makes it this easy, is uh, we can change this to scientific notation, uh, change it to 10 to the power 8. That's one way we can do it. Move the decimal point here two spaces back and write it as 0.923. Right? And then what power would I need there? Well, this is saying 92.3, six spaces this way. But if I go two spaces to the left, I would have to make this 10 to the power 8, right? So uh, it would be 10 to the power 8. The reason I did that is because if I write them so that they, they both have the same power of 10, then I can get rid of that and I just divide 3 by this. So this is gone, this is gone. And now the wavelength of, the wave of that uh, AFM station is just simply 3 over whatever the station's number is, okay? So... 3 divided by 0.923. 3 divided by 0.923. And then you're going to get 3.25 meters. So it's actually a wavelength that's not that large, not that small. So it's about the distance from like where I am, maybe to the, the edge of the room. This is one meter right here, like this. And so basically it's about three of those units. So what's the choice? Right here, B, 3.25 meters, okay? If you don't want to do this changing of the scientific notation, changing the decimal and making it the same power of 10, you can just simply put it into your calculator, do 3 times 10 to the power 8 divided by 92.3. You divide it by 92.3, and also you divide it one more time by 10 to the power 6. So 3 times 10 to the 8, divided by 92.3, divided by 10 to the power 6, and then press enter. 
3.25 meters, you still get the same thing. So you don't have to do this moving the decimal over and you know making the same power of the 10, okay? Now, notice from this, we learn that the wavelength of FM stations are relatively small. Three meters, two meters, one meter. If I have a FM station that's larger, like 102.7 FM, KISS FM, the its wavelength is gonna be a little bit smaller than this because its frequency is higher of, of KISS FM. So it's probably gonna be three meters, maybe two and a half meters. This gives us a clue why FM stations are better heard when you are driving through tunnels in, on the freeway. They're also better heard when you're driving inside of parking lots, parking structures. Any small spaces, FM stations can penetrate that because they have a shorter wavelength, okay? AM stations, on the other hand, can be heard better if you're driving inside of a valley in a mountain. Okay, when you're driving up to the mountain to Big Bear or any mountainous places, they have a larger wavelength, okay? So for example, uh, one of my favorite AM stations is 710 uh, ESPN. That's where I get my uh, sports news or if I'm listening to a live game, 710. So let's calculate the wavelength of the AM station ESPN 710. AM, right? AM is broadcast in units of kilohertz, not megahertz. So the frequency 710 is kilohertz, okay? So we're gonna do uh, C is lambda F, okay? And then the speed of light is three times 10 to the eight. The lambda, we don't know. The frequency is 710. So 710 times 10 to the power three. Right? So notice I changed it from mega to kilo. Okay, kilo is 10 to the third. Then I divide it. And then I'm simply just gonna put it into the calculator. Okay? Three times 10 to the power eight divided by what? 710. Divided again by 10 to the power three. And to the power three. So you divide it and divide it again one more time. Okay? And then you're gonna get what? The wavelength of the 710 uh, ESPN AM station is gonna be 422.5 meters. Okay, so now we're talking wavelengths that are much larger, 400 meters. Okay, a meter is roughly about uh, three feet, so that's about 1,200 feet, 1,200, 1,300 feet. AM stations are much wider, much larger in wavelength. They can go around mountains. They can penetrate uh, so that you can actually hear it inside of a valley when you're driving up to Big Bear. So FM station is going to have a much harder time reaching those spots, okay? So AM stations are going to be larger wavelength by a, about... A a hundred or a thousand, you see? Uh, this is, was three meters, this was 422 meters, right? If I divide them, what is that? 422 divided by 3.25, that's roughly about a ratio of 130, right? This divided by 3.25. That's a, if I divide the two, I'm getting a ratio of 130. So, we can roughly say the AM stations have a larger wavelength, about 100, 200 times larger than FM stations, right? So that's why they can be heard better in valleys. FM stations can be better heard in parking structures and in tunnels, okay? So now you know how to compare the two and you know how to find their wavelength. Thank you very much.